everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to the build guide for Kay's Necklace Samurai for the Minion Bomber build. Minion Bomber turns your minions into flying and walking time bombs to kill bosses and clear maps. And you can safely off screen kill all monsters, including bosses, because of the aggressive minion AI. Reflect maps won't be a problem because you don't need to worry about minion survivability. You can even play with just one hand. And don't forget to check the written version of this guide on the official forum. You can also find a lot of discussion and sharing of ideas from other players. After this showcase, I will go over the key mechanics of this build, the passives Ascendancy and Pantheon, and the gear including gems and links. Okay. 
The Minion Bomber build uses serial key mechanics to scale damage and survivability. The main damage comes from some raging spirits. The raging spirits are aggressive and can fly over and around all terrain features. They will even fly off screen to kill monsters and bosses. The build is built around the Minion Instability Keystone passive. It makes minions explode for 33% of their life pool when they reach low life. The explosion damage can be scaled by both minion damage and minion life. The Tabuka unique amulet deals damage over time to the raging spirits. So, after a short time, they will explode from minion instability. It also gives a big boost to the explosion damage. The Minion Bomber build also uses skeletons to help with map clearing. Irendo's Embrace deals damage over time to the skeletons. So, they will also explode from Minion Instability. In addition, the skeletons will increase fire damage taken by enemies. To help improve clear speed, Replica Siege Breaker spreads burning ground when the raging spirits and the skeletons die. Skitterbots normally have a shock and chill aura, but Profane Proxy will replace one aura with the Socketic Curse. So the Skitterbots become a mobile flammability curse aura. Lastly, this build also uses spectres, zombies, and a golem for extra protection. The zombies and golem are meat shields. And the spectres are the undying evangelists from Act 3 Scepter of God. The special spell is the proximity shield, which blocks any hits from outside the shield. There are three passive trees, depending on your budget. The entry level tree has no cluster jewels. The mid level tree uses one set of cluster jewels. And an example high level tree that uses double clusters and an elegant hubris jewel. For the mid level tree, the large cluster should be a minion damage jewel with 12 passive points and one or two notables. Raisin pillage is the most important notable, and then feasting fins. The two medium jewels are minion life with hawking corpses and feasting fiends. This gives the zombies a chance to taunt monsters. The two small jewels should be life with surging vitality for life regen. When you upgrade to the high level tree, you need to change the large jewel. You will need two minion damage large jewels with eight passive points and three notables. You should have Raisin Pillage and Feasting Fiends, and the third can be anything because it's not allocated. And the medium and small jewels are the same as the mid-level tree. Elegant Hubris is a unique jewel that comes from the Domain of Endless Conflict. It can change notables in its radius to 80% minion life or 80% minion damage. But note that every jewel is different and there is no guarantee you will get the minion mods. You will need to socket the jewel and check all the notables. For example, my jewel gives 80% increased minion damage and 160% increased minion life. There are also several jewel sockets that you can use for ghastly eye jewels. I recommend at least one jewel with minion blind. For the Ascendancies, I recommend Commander of Darkness, Unnatural Strength, and Bomb Barrier. For the Pantheon, I like to use Lunaris and Shakari, but all of them are useful so I recommend changing them depending on the map mods. The Minion Bomber build requires a Special Elder Influence Helmet and a Civil Cheap Uniques. 
All the other gear can be self-crafted. For the body armor, use a 6 link with a good life roll and resists. The gem links are Red Zombie, Elemental Army, Combustion, Summon Stone Golem, Added Fire Damage, and Melee Splash. You can even use a 5 link body armor and drop Melee Splash. For the helmet, you will need a helmet with Elder Influence. The important modes are Minion Damage, Minion Life, and Conquer Effect. You should have at least two of these mods. You can also use the additional Raging Spirits enchants from the Labyrinth. The gems are Summon Raging Spirits, Unleash, Elemental Focus, and Fire Penetration. For your fast weapon, you need a one-handed melee weapon. You can't use a wand because the second weapon is a melee weapon. The most important mod is the trigger craft and then try to get a good minion damage roll. You can also use shaper influence to get melee splash. The gems are summon skeletons, infernal legion, and feeding frenzy. For your second weapon, use Erendil's Embrace. The important mod is life taken as fire damage. Get a high roll so your skeleton explodes sooner. The gems are cast when damage taken, void sphere, and convocation. I recommend setting your cast when damage taken to 20% of your total life. And you can leave void sphere and convocation at level 1. For the gloves, use crafted rare gloves with a good life roll. The gems are skitterbots. Stormbrand, Flame Dash, and Clarity. You only need Stormbrand for endgame bosses, so you can link Infernal Legion to Skitterbots for extra clear speed. For the boots, I recommend crafted boots with high movement speed and a good life roll. The gems are Red Spectre, Meat Shield, Increased Area of Effect, and Increased Duration. For the rings, use Profane Proxy in the left side and Socket's flammability. This will replace the Chilling Aura with a curse. On the right side, use a Crafted Rail with increased mana region. Craft the mod if you need. For the amulet, you must use Tavukai. It deals damage to the Raging Spirits, which makes them explode from minion instability. Try to get at least minus 15% Chaos Res. The cheap anointment is sacrifice using teal, azure, and violet oils. The expensive anointment is thunder salvos using sepia and two golden oils. For the belt, use a replica siege breaker. This spreads burning ground after the raging spirits and skeletons explode. I recommend the following flask. Bubbling Life Flask of Stone Team for instant life recovery and bleed removal. Remy's Concoction for extra block chance. Quick Silver Flask of Adrenaline for a big speed boost. Quartz Flask of Heat to give phasing, dodge, and remove freeze. Basalt Flask of Iron Skin for extra armor. And if you roll a map with no mana region, you can swap a Basalt with a mana flask. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this view guide video and you have fun while your minions explode all around you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching! Bye!